Hey everyone, Dash Attack here. So, you probably have already heard about the drama surrounding the Dragon Quest 3 uh, remake. If you haven't, I'll explain it. So, there are rumors that um, the gender selection for the protagonist, they're going to have the words Type A and Type B on it. And there's also a rumor, like, according to, like, how you translate um, the leaker, that, like, they might be getting rid of gender-specific classes or something. So, like, this is, just, like, all stuff, like, that has been done in a lot of uh, games recently, especially, like, Elden Ring. But um, people made a really, really big deal about it, and, like, Yellow Flash even said he's not even going to get the game, even though he probably has a copy of Elden Ring. So I, I just think it just shows how people are just tired of just the political correctness um, in the, the gaming space. And uh, Square Enix's continual insistence to pander to, like, freaking nonsense. So we're going to do things a little bit differently today. So today we're going to actually use Grok to um, compile the controversy for us. Um, what is the Dragon Quest three type A and type B con? The Dragon Quest III Type A and Type B controversy refers to a change in the terminology used to describe the gender options for the main character in Dragon Quest III HD 2 Remake. In previous versions of the game, players could choose between a male or female character. However, in the HD 2D Remake, the options are labeled as Type A and Type B instead. This change has sparked a debate among fans, with some expressing disappointment or frustration at the removal of traditional male and female labels. Critics argue that the change is a necessary departure from the original game and may be seen as an attempt to cater to a more politically correct or woke audience. On the other hand, supporters of the change argue that it is a minor detail that does not significantly impact gameplay and doesn't allow players to interpret the character's gender in any way that feels authentic to them. They also point out that the game's mechanics and story remain largely unchanged. Overall, the controversy highlights the ongoing debate around gender representation in video games and extent to which developers should cater to different players' preferable sensibilities. If this passes through, I'm canceling my pre-order as well. I don't give a shit how minor it is. I will not support this new garbage in my Dragon Quest 3. I was considering buying it. Now I'll wait until I get my PC to pirate and mod the fucking game. Fuck Square Enix. Never trust a double A, triple A games. Com Never trust triple A Japanese companies nowadays. All of them are already in the lap of the West. ROM hacks and modding taught me that if you want something to uncorrectly, you ain't got. You rely on the fans. Though well, apparently, uh, they, he says the female is uncensored. I, I don't know. I, I just think this is a disaster for uh, Square Enix um, to be like... I think they need to um, they need to pedal back if this is the case. They, they have to change the version and, um, you know, mitigate this controversy. You know, I'm not a big Dragon Quest guy. I like the adventure of Dai, but uh, yeah, this is a disaster. This this really blew up, and you know I'm not really covering the story itself. I'm I'm covering like how people reacted to it, and how people reacted to it was extremely extremely negative. And even the people defending it are using some of the weakest like arguments. Where it's just the whole it's not a big deal fallacy. Apparently it is a big deal to a bunch of people because a lot of people are say they're not getting the game now So yeah, and a lot of them are probably really big Dragon Quest fans 
So no, like, you know, you should really, companies should not be like messing with older games like this. They should just be improving the graphics and modernizing, like within reason, the gameplay. Don't like casualize the, the freaking experience, but quality of life changes them all for. Yeah. Kind of a big freaking disaster, if you ask me. Anyways, uh, that's the story, and that is my coverage of said story. Thank you all for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. I'll see you all next time. Dash Attack, out.